Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about tidy R package. So what is tidy R package and why we require it? Tidy as the name suggests clean, right? Again, you can also see the logo as well. They have shown some brooms here, which is meant to clean some stuff, right? So in this case, we'll be uh, reshaping or cleaning the data so that we can put the data into proper shape as per our problem uh, statement, right? So this is the meaning of tidy R. So tidy R actually uh, under tidy R package, we got multiple functions defined. So we'll be exploring all the functions today with the help of some examples. And this documentation page of this tidy R has given us already one thing is called cheat sheet in which everything has been explained here. So I've already have opened up this cheat sheet here in the like alongside. So which will be helping me in writing the uh, like format or the writing the proper syntax or right syntax so that I'll not be committing any mistake uh, in this today's practical. So uh, alongside, uh, we they also have given uh, some uh, instructions. They say that tidy data is a data where every column is a variable, every row is an observation, every cell is in a single value. So tidy are help us in uh, creating a tidy data or clean data or a proper properly formatted data. So let's see how we can make use of it. So for that, I'll be making use of my R terminal, right? So let's open up the R and let's uh, start with this practical. For that, I'll be loading two libraries. One is tidyr. Uh, first of all, you need to install the package tidyr with install.packages tidyr. As I've already have installed, so I'll be simply calling the library tidyr. And I'll also be requiring for today's practical uh, some of the uh, like tools of uh, functions of the dplyr as well which I've already opened, uh, already have covered in the previous video. So I also have lo load up uh, this uh, dplyr package as well. So let's now load the data uh, on which we'll be applying all the functions. So it's, uh, I'm putting in a queue. So read.csv is a function. We know that to load, uh, read the CSV file. So file name is tidy.csv, the simple file available. And this is the, these are, this is the file content we got in this, right? A simple regular file content. So let's get started. For that, first of all, uh, we'll be applying the gather function. The very first function available here is the gather function. So gather function says we need to convert the data from wide format to long format. Now, currently this data is having 12 rows. So if I want to uh, change it to the long format, if I require uh, the longer format of the same data, longer representation of the same data, I'll be using the gather. So let's see how we can make use of it. So for that, I'll now calling the gather function defined under the tidy R. So long Q. Uh, so in this case, I'm now calling my uh, data called Q and with the help of this uh, pipe operator defined under dplyr package, I'm now putting this output of the Q to the gather function. So gather function first will take the name of the columns that you require later on. Okay, so I'm putting it here, uh, uh, quarter and revenue. All right, these are the two columns and uh, I want to, I need to give the, uh, the input data, input columns. So what I want is, I want to change this Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, everything I want, I, I want to change it to the quarter and revenue. So that instead of having Q1, Q2, Q3, so I want to just kind of transpose the things I want to now change to the longer format. So they'll be having all the possible combinations. Let me first uh, uh, make use of it, then it will be clear with you. So I'm giving the range, means what are the columns which will be fed into the gather, right? So it'll be change. It'll be changing this current format into the longer format. Let's see it here. So it's been changed, I guess. So we can call the long queue. Now you can see it here. So instead of having this 12 rows, now I'm having total 48 rows. So how it how it's working? Now against uh, 2006, right? We got only. Uh, first of all, it'll it'll be showing the uh, 2006 15. Then again, 27, 12. In this way, they will be first showing the Q1 values. Like it will be 12, the 12 uh, entries of Q1, 12 entries of Q2, 12 entries of Q3, 12 entries of Q4. So 12 into 4 is 48. This is how it works. So all the possible combination they have tried and they have given us the result in a longer format. Earlier it was in a wider format. So 12 rows got converted into the 48 rows. This is the meaning of gather function. So let's move it further. Now next is spread. Spread is opposite to the gather. It will be converting the longer format into the wider format. Now let's uh, try to put the data back into the same shape where was it, it was earlier in. Okay, so I need to convert this long queue into queue back. So for that, I'll be using the function called spread. So spread is opposite to the gather. First of all, put the uh, input data, which is long queue. Okay, and specify the data in a form of key value pairs. So key will be quarter, means whatever the uh, new things that we have added here. These, these two names, quarter and revenue, it will be key and value respectively. 
so key will be quarter right and value will be revenue so in this way we are able to convert this into back into the suitable format right so key and value so let's see it here now we can see h now is containing the same result same 12 rows that was that we were having earlier right this is the meaning of spread converting back the uh, converting the long format back to the wide format next we are having the unite unite meaning is uh, uh, it it is used to like combine columns right so how we can make use of it so let's see it here i'm using another variable j and i'm calling the unite function so unite function will as a name suggests unite means combining something so it will be kind of concatenating the things together so unite specify the uh, original data q and in this case i'll be uh, specifying the new column which will be the uh, like which will be containing the result of the concatenation so here the col uh, is uh, representing the column name and in this case i'm giving the column name as modified column so it will be containing my containing the result of the unite function so uh, modified then specify uh, the column names which you want to concatenate together or you need to combine together so i'm putting it here group and year as my two columns which i want to combine or concatenate and i need to give some separator so i need to give some separator through which they both will be concatenated so i'm giving the separator as hyphen so with the help of hyphen they both will be combined let's see it here if they are working or not so in this case i'm given all the instructions let's see now j so j now is having modified column which is equivalent of combination of group and year with the separator equal to hyphen this is the meaning of unite function so unite function help us in merging the two columns together right now last column last op operation available is called separate separate is opposite of unite so uh, it means now i want to convert this back to the original format again for that we have a separate available so for that we have a function called separate very simple little function separate Spe specify the input data j specify the uh, uh, column which you want to convert back it's modified right so modified is my input data now i want to convert this into original data so into equal to give the uh, two column back it's the group and year respectively group and year respectively so i'll be getting my both uh, group and year back and give the sep as well it is nothing but the hyphen okay so this is the complete query in which we are converting the modified back to the group and year respectively so if i can call l i'll be getting my uh, columns back with the help of separate function so these are the four little functions defined under the tidr package now as per their uh, as per their documentation page they have said that they have now changed the this uh, gather and spread with the pivot underscore longer and pivot underscore wider so let's see how we can make use these two as well because it's available in the newer uh, version of the tidr package so for that i'll be now converting one data frame i'll be creating one data frame with the name df so let's create one data frame for the this representation so data dot frame we all know how to create a data frame in which i'll be having three columns so first column is player so i'm giving player as very simple one a b c and d okay so i'll be having four players uh, for this data frame a b c d right so these are the four players now i'll be having uh, another column as year so i'm putting it as year equal to so i'll be having four years available maybe 12 15 maybe 19 and 19 these are the four years i've added third column again i'm putting it as year 2 so i can put make it as year 1 and third one is year 2 so year 2 equal to c and again i'm putting it here 22 comma 29 comma uh, 18 comma 12 some random values i'm just using for demonstration here all right this is done so df is this is the data we got so how we can convert this into a longer format for that i'll be using pivot underscore longer so for that df then using pipe operator output of df will be fed into the pivot underscore longer all right pivot underscore longer then we can specify the calls column names which i want to use for as my input it will be year 1 and year 2 it is actually as i have already stated that it is equivalent of this gather one right so it's a newer format newer version we are having as per the newer version of the uh, dp uh, this one tidr package so year 1 and year 2 is my input data all right done then followed by i'm having names too 
it's a part of the syntax i'll show you the syntax as well in a while it is names to equal to year and then we have the values to these are the uh, keywords values to i'm putting it as points okay so putting as points so this is the uh, complete now information you can see it here i got the result in a longer format right so earlier i was having four rows now i'm having eight rows let me show you the syntax again so as per the this cheat sheet they have said they have said that pivot underscore longer have these these things right so we have used everything here data means input data calls we have used names to values to and this is uh, the optional parameter drops drop na we'll talk about this in a while as well drop underscore na as well this is how pivot underscore uh, longer works right now in the same way we can also now make use of uh, the pivot underscore wider for that i'll be creating another data frame uh, for that in this case uh, df1 let's suppose it is an uh, again data dot frame so in this case i'll be using uh, the first column as player and i'll be making use of some of the inbuilt functions of uh, r to uh, uh, writing the things in a easier way first is repetition i'm using so that it can repeat the data for me so instead of writing the all the different rows and all instead of putting a uh, lot of hard work in uh, entering a data for multiple rows i'm using a rep function here so in this case i can specify how many times this has to be repeated each four okay so a will be printed four times will be will, will be printed four times in this case so instead of entering eight values a b a b a b and all so i can simply go with the rep function here so in the same way second uh, uh, column will be year in this case i'll be using again rep function in the rep function i can specify my uh, values which i want to add 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 all right so so this is a uh, we can do again we can use the option times equal to 2 so this will be repeated two times okay 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 in this way it will be coming in the second column in the same way i can have the third column is equal to stat and again i can use rep function for that in the rep function i can add maybe points and assist actually this is uh, data correspond to basketball game that's why we have these terminologies uh, and assist all right it has been added again it will be added uh, uh, we can add here four times right so we can add here times equal to four so it will help me in writing the query in a, a lesser time right and last we can have amount the fourth column we can add as the amount all right so let's uh, add the amount we can add some random values 14 6 maybe 18 7 all right and then we can have 22 9 means 28 values we have to add and 38 4 38, 4 so we have added all the stuff so you can see now what the df1 consists of you can see it here with the help of rep function i'm able to uh, like uh, do the query in a lesser time so i i got eight records here right now let's see how we can uh, make use of pivot underscore wider so let's convert this into a wider notation opposite to the pivot underscore longer again i'll be using df1 and with the help of pipe operator i'll be converting this back to the uh, this wider format so we have a pivot underscore wider all right we can specify names it's a name is a keyword names underscore from so from equal to stat right and comma values uh, from values from amount okay this is my syntax all right let's see so we can see it now we it has been changed to the wider format this is how we can do and as per the uh, this cheat sheet also you can see it here data comma names underscore from and values underscore from this is the same syntax we have used for my example as well so this is the pivot underscore wider now let's see uh, one more example how we can make use of drop underscore na and how we can we can make use of replace underscore na so for for that i'll be now creating last data frame for this video in which i'll be intentionally adding some na values right so data dot frame all right so here i'm using another uh, column as points equal to we can add the combine function we can add some points and we can also add some na values so that we can display the usage of drop underscore na and replace underscore na so we are having these values and having some nas available as well this is the first column added now we can add as second column as assist okay assist and i'm putting it here combine function and we can put some values for na all right 
and we can add four again na and nine comma three these are the values of second column and we can also add the third column as rebounds so rebounds uh, we can add equal to c so in all the columns we got some na's available so it's very important to know how we can handle those na's one of the very important uh, topic we can uh, say of of r how to handle missing data or na values so this is for that is also defined under the tidr package all right so we got df2 created in which lot of na's are available let's see now how we can first make use of drop underscore na so drop underscore na is defined here you can see it here drop underscore na is available here handle missing values drop underscore na so drop the rows containing na's so how we can drop the rows containing na's for that we can either we can specify df2 uh, simply use uh, uh, the pipe operator and simply call the drop underscore na so what will happen it will drop all the rows containing the na values okay in which we are not specifying any any parameter you can see it here so all the na rows got deleted so only we are left with the two rows without nas one is this one other is this one all right this is called drop underscore na so now uh, what i'll be doing uh, this is uh, done so let me now re uh, let me take this data set back so that i can show you the other uh, variations so we have df3 again available so if you want to now specify specific thing now instead of going with the this complete uh, na we have to we can specify some columns as well let's suppose i want to specify columns now rebounds okay so what will happen that it will be uh, specifying here that wherever we have the values in the rebounds column na that will be removed so the very first row and the last row will be removed from this so this is how we can do it in the same way we can also uh, define multiple columns as well with the help of combine function and last uh, topic for today is replace underscore na again it's a part of the tidy r package again for that i'll be creating another data frame with the name df4 now so df4 is my last data frame so in this case we can specify df4 then again pipe operator specify replace underscore na means i want to replace uh, all the nas let's suppose with the zero for that we have a list function available and specify uh, i want to replace rebounds na with the zero okay that's it so you can see it here all the rebounds na got replaced with the zero and it has been defined under the this as well replace underscore na right so this marks the uh, end of this video i hope you must have understood the tidy r package and their functions in case is something is not clear please do comment on this video thanks for watching guys see you in next video